Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Grace here, and today I am back with another video and I'm doing some struggles that small YouTubers go through and obviously I am still a small YouTuber, I haven't even reached a thousand subscribers yet, but I am almost there so I'm super excited and some advice as well, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, if you're already here, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and share it with all your friends and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so problem number one for me is time. Not having time to film videos. I'm literally going to school, going to work, and then church on the weekends. Like, there's only 24 hours in a day, and then, like, and so I have to film during the day when the sun is out because I need natural lighting. And then my work hours are, like, in the morning to the evening. So by the time I get home, the day's over, and the sun has gone down, and then I can't film because it's going to be dark, and I don't want, like, bad quality videos out there, so... It's so annoying, but um, yeah, time is so frustrating and I'm trying to, every time I have like that little bit of time to film, I try and make use of it. I'll get ready really fast and then I'll film this video and then like it depends on the video. I might, I might not make it, I'll start and then I'll like give up because it's just not working out. So comment below if you have the struggle. <laughs> I know some of you out there got the struggle, so comment below, let me know. <laughs> I know how you feel. Time is, if only there was more hours in the day, like where the sun is out. If the sun was out longer, it would be a little bit easier for me, but you know, I don't control mother nature. So unfortunately, okay. Problem number two for me is non-supportive parents or family members, um, that kind of thing. It's like, for me, it's not that they're not supportive. It's that they don't understand. Like they don't understand the concept of YouTube, why I'm sitting in front of a camera talking to myself, they don't get it. And it's like, I don't blame them because they never grew up with this stuff. They never grew up with YouTube, they never grew up with the internet, like they don't know. So to them, like they think I'm wasting my time and I mean, I get it, it's fine. I see where they're coming from. But I mean, maybe one day they will understand and I try and explain it to them sometimes, but I have African parents, so a lot of times <laughs> There's other problems in the world than my YouTube situation, so but I totally get it and that's actually why like I'm sitting here right now and not in my usual scenery in the comfort of my room because my mom is sleeping and you know my room is like right next to her so this is why I'm here so I'm trying to whisper and get this video over and done with so on to tip number three no problem number three problem number three equipment not having the fancy camera fancy lighting editing software that nice backdrop like all my videos up to my ethnicity tag were all filmed on my iphone 6 because i didn't have a camera i couldn't afford one and i was not gonna let that stop me from starting my youtube channel so there's nothing wrong with an iphone like quality is good um, so for everybody out there who wants to start a channel but is making excuses because, you know, I don't have the right equipment, I don't have all this fancy stuff, you don't need that fancy stuff to start a channel. You can go ahead, grab your phone and put it right in front of you and start your channel. Use that until, you know, the time comes and you can get one. But until then, like, you don't need, there's natural lighting, you don't need any fancy lightings or anything, and you have a phone, and that's good. That's all you need to start a channel and you're good. So don't let that stop you from starting your channel. If that's really what you want to do, go ahead and do it because um, you're only procrastinating and you're only going to say tomorrow, when I get this, when I get that, but you don't need all that. So some advice for you guys out there who want to start a channel, do it. Just do it like today. Go grab your phone and start your channel right now because why procrastinate? You're never going to get to it if you keep saying tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Just do it right now. I feel like I sound like those commercials. Get up and go to school right now. Go sign up right now. Anyways, okay, on to tip number four. Problem number four is numbers. When you're a small YouTuber, you're looking at every number, every view, you're like counting. Oh my gosh, I have 102 subscribers, 103 subscribers. Oh my gosh, 200 subscribers. Like, And then when you lose the one, it's like devastating. When you lose a subscriber, you're like, oh my gosh, like why? It's so heartbreaking, you know? 
<laughs> but some advice do not do not do not focus on numbers because it's degrading it's discouraging sometimes when you put you work really hard on these videos and you're working um, you know really hard to put out good content but nobody's watching or nobody's subscribing and you just feel like you know why am I doing this because nobody cares and so don't focus on numbers it's it's not gonna get you anywhere focus on putting out good content putting out good videos for people to watch and then the rest will come subscribe subscribers will come views will come all that will come and in 2017 like the beginning of the year my goal I was I was at 300 subscribers and my goal was to reach a thousand by the end of 2017 and clearly I underestimated myself because I'm almost there and I you know I was degrading like I not okay how do I say it? I didn't think that I was gonna reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year I was like maybe I should lower my goal you know but obviously never do that I should have you know up my goal like I should be thinking big I should be thinking positive I should be thinking about you know the future and not making less of myself you know so I have upped my goal and um, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers so that's really exciting I mean <laughs> but yeah I'm not focused on the numbers anymore I'm more focused on putting out stuff that people want to watch you know and putting out good quality good videos and yeah okay so number five is ideas and inspirations sometimes it's so so hard to come up with a video or to come up with ideas what to film and it's like you know sometimes i sit there and my head is just blocked my brain is just blocked i don't know what to do and then other days i'll have so many ideas you know but I'd say because there's so many videos out there, there's like thousands and thousands of, let's say, twist out tutorials. Everybody's done a twist out tutorial. So why would somebody want to come and watch yours, you know? So I'd say be yourself in your videos. And they don't only come back for the tutorial, but maybe you're funny. Maybe the way you explain is really good. Or maybe you add like your editing skills are different or you add a twist to your videos, you know? Um, that's why people come back not only for the tutorial but for your personality people if they like you they like what they see they like that you're funny or they like that you know your explaining skills are really good they'll come back not only for that video but for the rest of your videos people will enjoy it and come back because that's what they like about you your personality so be yourself 100% all the time be yourself and yeah ideas will come and go um, it's, when I get an idea I write it down immediately because like I'll forget um, if I don't write it down and so when I, if I have an idea to film I'll write it down right away and I'll just be like walking one day and something will pop in my head and I'll grab my phone and like write it in my notes and I'll be like okay I'll try and put that together and I'll try and film that and then yeah so do that and then everything else will come together and last but not least I just want to say that never ever 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 compare yourself to anybody else because you are you you are unique you are beautiful you are wonderfully made and nobody in this world is perfect there's nobody that's perfect so why compare yourself to other people because you don't know what they go through or you don't know the behind the scenes don't ever compare yourself with people just know that you're beautiful know that you are loved and work on yourself work on being a better person for yourself work on being a better person for others so there's seven billion people in this world and there's nobody that is like you so be proud be happy that you are beautiful and that you are wonderfully made there's nobody out there like you so don't compare yourself with others and on that note i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to comment share and subscribe and i hope to see you guys in my next video you want to give me the best you want to give me the best that you have Give me things I don't deserve I didn't earn it I think I'm worth it